Uh, we mentioned Arsenal just before the break. They yeah. host winless Leicester at the Emirates. They beat Bolton 5-1 in midweek after coming ever so close to beating Manchester City at the Emirates on Sunday. As we all know, the Gunners were 2-1 up in the first half before losing Leandro Trossard to a red card just before half-time. Uh, a brilliant defensive performance then saw them hold on until the 98th minute. Uh, before the heartbreak, John Stones scoring that equaliser for City. The Arsenal boss, Mikel Arteta, defended his team tactics versus the champions. Remember, they came in for a lot of criticism. He said he was doing whatever it took to get a result. Well, we had to play the game that we had to play. And the first 10, 15 minutes, we couldn't. 11 against 11, then we go much better. And then obviously we were thrown in a very different context. Every team does, you know. They played uh, 30 seconds with 10 men. You look what they did, it's normal what they did for 30 seconds, but we have to do it in a different way. We learn from the past as well, because unfortunately we've been in that situation with them three times very recently. One it was with Granite after 37, 38 minutes it was, and we considered how many. So, um, yeah, we better learn. If not, we'll be very thick. I will be very thick. What is the body count like? I mean, we clearly saw quite a few of your players go down. How many of those? are struggling a little bit with injuries. What does your squad look like? Did it give you a chance to yeah. see the likes of Sterling, some of your youngsters tomorrow? I always prefer the facts than than words or supposing things. So let's see who is available tomorrow and then we can talk about dark arts or mm. these things. Always like you, he likes the facts. Yeah, rightly so. <laughs> look, I said to someone, because I had this debate after the game, yep. you know, just chatting and said to him, so, OK, what do you do? Uh, so who would you consider the best team in the world? You might go Real Madrid or Man City, yeah? Yeah. OK, yeah. so what are you meant to do when you go to 10 men against the best team in the world or one of the best teams in the world? Are you going to go gun-ho or are you going to be, you know, considered and be very <laughs> pragmatic and do whatever it can to get over the line I, and get a result? Cass, Fair play to them. Absolutely. I do not blame any team that decides to, to ha have that sort of defensive approach when you have a numerical disadvantage against, as you say, one of the best teams in the world playing at their home Backyard, ground yeah. as well. So... Yeah, I mean, for all the criticism that they, that they came in for, I think, was ridiculous. Yes, of course, we always want to see more exciting, you know, teams going at each other. That's the dream. But we're not going to get that. And isn't it great to see well, it a little bit of versatility as well, that a team can be dogged, can be pragmatic if yeah. they need to be? Well, it, it, I think it speaks quite the volumes of Man City, obviously a little bit rattled by it as well. Yeah. You know, and um, look, Earl and Ireland frying the ball back at Gabriel's head yet. Yeah. Daft, silly, can get a yellow card, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. just a daft moment yeah. uh, in a game that many players have done over the, the history of football that we've all had their moments of madness on a football field. Um, but I actually enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the game as what it. And look, I don't like sending offs. I hate sending offs because I do think it just numerically makes it so difficult for the opposition. It couldn't have got any tougher for Arsenal. Mm. And I thought when it was 2-1 to them and they were winning enough what they'd done really well yeah. in the first half of stopping them and Pep knows they're a far bigger threat year by year he's watching Arsenal get closer to him and he might even be thinking they might surpass us I still think it's a might they are the team to beat City oh, City yeah. still the team to beat but Arsenal fair play absolutely did whatever they did like he said wanted to get something out of the game. That's mm. how important it was. Yeah, and they were so close to getting all three points. Yeah. Uh, the only drop points they've had this season in the Premier League have come against City and Brighton before, where once again they were down to 10 men. Mm. So you can ultimately say it still shows great character that they can hold on for something in mm. a game. Yes, I know it was heartbreaking to, to concede so late on against Manchester City, certainly. Um, they're taking on the Leicester side who are seeking their first win Cass in the Premier League. They're winless yeah. in their first five games then. Uh, the two previous occasions that they have uh, incurred that, they have gone on to be relegated. Uh, they were relegated uh, in the 22-23 season when they started the season without a win in seven. It's been a difficult start for Steve Cooper. Yeah. Um, what's been their biggest flaw, do you think? Um. Oh, that's a toughie. Flaw? I mean, the only game against Tottenham, they got oh. completely overrun. Uh, watch them then for... Well, in the first half. Yeah, first half. But they've still got... There's an experience there. I mean, are you coming into the club and then you've obviously got Vardy? There's there's mm. experience in mm. there. Their midfield of um, Winks and Skip is quite solid with NDD in front of them. That feels like a quite solid midfield. Um, 
I think they'll be involved in a lot of games that are draws. They just look like uh, a draw team to me. Yeah. You know, there's going to be a number of games that it's going to be tight with Leicester. Um, they're not going to be free scoring. I think Vardy's going to have to sort of replicate what he's done many years in the Premier League and get quite a good number for them. So I don't really see anybody else, especially once they lost Dewsbury all to Chelsea. There was another goal threat there. That, that's a big one they've lost. So, um, yeah, it's going to, it's going to, I, I see a, a draw team. If they get draws and pick up and... I always feel now, looking at this present Leicester team, it's going to be a side It's always going to be hovering around relegation but might just have enough to survive and get over the line and stay up. Well, currently they are in that position. They're in 15th. Uh, one of what? One, two, three, four, five, six teams yet to have won one, yeah. in the Premier League so far. And you mentioned Jamie Vardy. Two goals already this season. He has scored 11 Premier League goals against Arsenal in his career. That's more than any other. He does like to score against them. Hmm. So you never know. We might see something today for the visiting fans at the Emirates. It is a three o'clock kickoff. Game day live. We'll keep you updated on that. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.